Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is part 4 of this video series. In the previous part we had discussed about the SQL command and while discussing with the SQL command we have checked that how many method we have. If we need a multiple records we were using the execute reader. If we need one column value we were using the SQL scalar and if we want to execute insert or update or delete kind of queries so we were using execute non query so i have created uh, something but uh, we'll discuss it later first now let's discuss this uh, sql data reader here so what is sql data reader you can see the code i have written uh, actually i already have written in the previous video so it's nothing new for us we are just establishing the connection and making the command in this command yeah, we have explained in the previous video this is the query you are passing and this SQL command takes the parameter as a connection and then you are opening the connection before executing the command so I am executing the command here execute reader execute reader, reader give me the multiple records if you want to read the multiple records from the database we use this execute reader and if you check this uh, reader data type is SQL data reader that's what we have to discuss here so what is this SQL data reader? This SQL data reader is like a, a way to read the data from the database and in a very efficient manner. So there are the few things you can see over here the comment as well. It provides a way of reading a forward only stream of a row from the SQL Server database. That means the data is uh, the only readable, not editable or not changeable. And we can do this in only forward uh, only direction. That means once a record is read, we cannot go back then. Okay. And this is the is all the basic uh, you know by default the code that is providing us in this namespace. So we'll not have to do anything with that. We'll go to the implementation and check. You can see the code is telling me okay, select static from the employee, get all the employees, and here I'm saying that okay, print the column one. That means uh, the index start from zero. Uh, zero might be the ID and one might be the name in the table. So it, you see, this is printing the name. Okay. Now, I have made some changes. I what I did for making you understand bad, in a better way. Uh, sh this is my console application, but I created a separate class library. It's .NET Standard 2.0, so I can use this library in my .NET framework and as well as in .NET Core. So that's why I make it on .NET standard. So here you can see I created a data i data access, and here I created a three methods uh, that we discussed in the SQL command in the previous video. But I tried to make a good architecture for that, so I can make reuse of the code. I don't have to you know duplicate the code again and again. So I was just trying to create an arch architecture for that. And this uh, the problem comes, and that becomes a very good thing to explain. Uh, okay, let's have a look. You can see there are three methods. One is SQL data reader, it's returning me the SQL data reader and I'm providing the query. Other is returning me a string and it's execute scalar. It will give me one column, one value from the raw and column that I need. And by default I make it as a string because it's not necessary that only I need the count and sum and that kind of the maybe I need in any of the case I can get a name or some kind of text so that is why I make a string so according to your use case you can you know type cast as change it from string to you know integer and decimal whatever you want here it's execute non query it's also returning the string for you know making some gen general kind of purpose but it should be the integer because usually execute non query is returning of a number of affected draws okay for now let's just ignore this we can make it a you know data type integer here let's go to the data access class you will see there is a data access class and i'm narrating the method okay let's close all these things so that visibility gets better control control m o now the code is more clear to read now you can see i'm inheriting this i data access and there are three three different methods that uh, I'm implementing here from this interface. Okay, but before that you see this, I'm establishing the connection here in the constructor, whatever I'm passing from my client application or presentation layer, whatever, because connection can vary. So I did not make, you know, connection dependent on this class library. Maybe 
I would be using some another SQL connection. So I'm passing from this program.cs class from my client. Now you see there is a private method I created. It's execute command. What is it doing? It's taking a query. Uh, you can pass any of the query, SQL query, and there is an execution type. I created an enumeration. Okay, so it should whether it could be the non-query data reader or scalar. So I do not want it to repeat this thing because you will see all of the time you will see this SQL connection and command and this kind of code is repetitive, and you're again opening the connection. So I make try to make it in one way. So here you can see I'm using the SQL connection that I'm establishing here in the constructor. Once my connection is initialized, then I'm creating a SQL command and passing that query, whatever you are passing from the client, and the connect same connection that I created in this class. Maybe we have to do something for this because you know that could be the multiple connection if you make the multiple instance of this database data access. But that is a separate problem. We'll discuss it later. For now, you see this same code. SQL connection is getting open. From here, the code gets changed. So I'm created a I created a switch case statement. Okay, what you want to execute? Whether you want to do the scalar, reader, or non-query. So if you pass the non-query, it will return you affected rows. If you pass the data reader, it will give you the readers. If you pass the scalar, it will give you the scalar. And in the last, what I'm doing. This method is private. You cannot call this method from you know outside this class. So if you want to do the re 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 read the multiple records, you directly call this method by the query. You don't have to pass anything. I'm you know I'm encapsulating or doing some abstraction here. I'm uh, abstracting this implement and the user or the you know the, uh, on the logic on the presentation layer, who whoever wants to you know use my code, he will just directly call this method execute data reader and will pass the query, and this abstract thing uh, will happen here. You will just get the uh, multiple records here. Similarly, this execute is scalar. It's con I'm converting it to the string. Same for the execute non query. So let's check this now. Go to the program.cs, and for now let's comment this code for time being okay and i data access <laughs> equals to new data access and it needs it needs connection string okay data access dot let's check the execute scalar first okay Select count static from employee. Mm, and here I will be writing var rows is equal to total rows or whatever you want. Let's print it out rows. Number of rows and anything you want. Now let's check this. So you'll see. It will would be working perfectly. It will give us eight records total. We have a count of eight in our table. If we sum, execute scalar. Now you can see this eight. It's giving us how it's working fine. Let's check the another method, SQL non query. That will also work if you, you know insert update or delete anything it will work but there is another method sql data reader this one now i'm saying select static from employee gets all get me all of the employees and here that means i have got all the records in this row you will see the data type is sql data reader and here i'm writing the code rows dot read console dot write line rows this index is one or zero anything what you want but I'm pretty sure that this code will not work it will give me an an error okay let's check it see what is it telling that we were trying to discuss so all this scenario I explained because of only this you see invalid attempt to call read when reader is closed so what has happened 
uh when you let's go to this class you see this using statement we discuss in our second video about the sql connection that we don't have to explicitly close the connection so data reader can only be used when your connection is established once your connection is closed you cannot read the data from the database so the data sql data reader requires a connection so out uh, of out of the this scope of using once you go out of this scope you don't have any more the connection with your database and sql reader is no more able to read the data so what is happening it is returning as the reader type but outside this scope we lost the connection and that is why uh, we are no longer to read the data so this was the sign so how we can you know make this code working so there is uh, several ways we can convert to the layers we can do the so there is another th thing which we will discuss in uh, the next video that we can do that according uh, we can you know overcome this problem we will not be returning this uh, data reader we will convert the data reader into a data table so that would be easy because on the client uh, you need the connection connection established for sql data reader we should have the connection and the connection was already closed there when we come out from this scope Oops, where it is there when we come out what is that so one more thing let's make sure again uh, okay what i do for making you sure let's add a debugger here you see it comes here the connection is established okay for now uh, the connection object is ready but it's not open yet okay it's closed state is closed now let's go inside after this again now check what is hap what happened to the connection you will see the state is open okay now it's going to execute what what is the execution type is provided it's data reader it executed and reader and you can see there would be some results you see the eight result that means there is no bug in the code it's returning it's working fine but once it goes off the scope it you see it goes out of the scope now you you see this connection i'm pretty sure that its state is closed so that means we cannot read data so this was the issue that's why uh, now you're converting to data reader and trying to read the data but your uh, reader uh, connection is disconnected so the as the one thing we conclude here the sql data reader can uh, works with the connected database architecture so this was the thing which you will uh, you know read in the read in the article but cannot maybe you cannot uh, you know uh, come to know that wh what is this connected architecture and disconnected architecture so i tried to explain so hopefully i would be able to you know deliver this uh, successfully i hope if you really like the video and understand this concept then please like share and subscribe i see you in the next video take care bye